Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Shantrina's. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining in today. Today I'm going to be doing a Bliss cosplay. Um, although at this point I can probably only call it like a Bliss inspired cosplay because once I started doing it, it just kind of like went left. Like I just, I, I kept adding stuff and then yeah, so I'm just gonna say it's a bliss inspired cosplay or I'll call it like a, a bondage bliss or modern bliss or um, hipster bliss, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, but I'm just gonna say bliss inspired for right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna say bliss inspired for right now because this isn't anything like what she looks like except for the hair um, on the actual Powerpuff Girls, so. Yeah, I tried to get purple contacts, but I ended up not being able to get them in time. And I wanted to do purple elastic instead of the white elastic, but I wasn't able to find it at any Michaels or Hobby Lobby or Joann's. So that kind of sucks, but I still ended up liking how it looked. Instead of her headband, I opted to do a flower crown because I wanted to add in some lavender somewhere. And these are from the Dollar Tree. So I just put a bunch of flowers on a headband and then just use that as my headband, I guess. This hair is from Chalk Hair, and this is their, uh, I don't remember the name of the hair. I'm just gonna leave all the information right here or in the description box, so please check there if you want information about the hair. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is gonna be like my first like really, really in-depth um, cosplay. I don't know, do you guys consider this a cosplay? I guess, right? It was inspired by Bliss, I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment if you like the video. Leave me a thumbs up. Those really help so, 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 so much. I'm really hoping to get 10,000 views by next week. If you guys could help me do that, that would be awesome. Please share this with all your friends. Um, share it with anyone that loves Powerpuff Girls. Share it with anyone that likes quirky makeup or alternative black girls. Um, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. Share it if you liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. So this hair is from Chalk Hair. I have three bundles and a frontal. If you wanna learn more about how many inches it is, I'll leave that in the description box. But Bliss has some really long hair. So I had to get super, super long hair. I think the longest inches is like 26 that I got or 24. These are the bundles from Chalk Hair and I will be using that as well as a frontal. I only have three bundles for this. I kinda wish I had four. My wig kinda came out janky, but um, it still looks okay overall. And I'm starting off by trying out the frontal, putting it on my head, kind of seeing where it lays. Whenever I do a wig, I like to mark where my ears are and also where the center of my forehead is because my wig head is kind of confusing. I don't, I don't really, <laughs> um, I feel like I've gotten worse at making wigs because I haven't made one in a while, but yeah. So I made the markings and then I put it on my mannequin head. One side of the frontal looks really good. So I'm just gonna focus on that side. Um, but Bliss has bangs anyway, so I didn't really need this part to be perfect, but I just know for future reference to just, yeah, just figure it out before I sew everything down. But yeah, even though I wasn't very happy with the frontal, I still kept going with the process. And I didn't record the full video of making the wig because I was having such a hard time making this wig. And it's not, it's not because of the hair. Um, it's mainly because I think I needed more hair. <laughs> um, so they gave me three bundles and I'm used to working with four bundles when it comes to making wigs and um, I just, I like really full hair. Um, also I get really paranoid about running out of hair so I end up making really weird, like really weird shaped wigs, let's just say that. You guys know I usually just roll with the punches when it comes to hair dye and making wigs and beauty in general so I just kept going. and. Yeah, the wig ended up looking okay, it fit pretty decent, and I'm gonna have bangs anyway, so it doesn't even matter. So for the dye, I used the Ion Color Brilliance Neon Brights in the color Cyan, or Cyan. I don't know how to say it, Cyan, Cyan, Cayenne, I don't know. Um, but it's basically just like a aqua color. And I use three boxes of this. I usually dilute it with a little conditioner, that way it's a little bit easier for me to spread. And um, it works out for me really good that way. The only thing is, I, for some reason, never learn my lesson and never buy enough hair dye. So of course, this time, I ran out of hair dye. Um, so I only showed you the parts of the hair that I dyed and um, that I was able to film on camera. 
The rest of it looks pretty decent, but it would have looked a lot better if I would have gotten more than the amount of hair dye that I did. I kind of underestimated how long this hair was, y'all. Like, this was a struggle. Um, I only got three boxes of hair dye, and for every box of hair dye, I usually do like half a, half the amount of in conditioner. So, like a two to one ratio when it comes to conditioner and the hair dye. Um, yeah. If you have a lot of hair, buy a lot of hair dye. Um, I know this for next time. I keep saying that, but I keep doing the same thing over and over again. Oh. So yeah, just going through and using my fingers to rub the dye in the hair. I did find my applicator brush, but I prefer to use my hands, so I'm just gonna use my hands. I don't think there's an issue with that. And again, this is the color from Ion Color Brilliance, and it's in Cyan or Cyan. I'll leave a picture so you guys can see um, the box and everything. Okay, so for the makeup, you guys know I always start off with my Smashbox 24 hour primer. This is one of my holy grails. And also the NYX White Eyeshadow Base. So I'm taking the hot pink from the Electric Palette and using that in my crease and just blending that out with my Sigma E40 brush, I believe. And then I'm taking those two colors right there and using those on the outer and inner portion of my eye. I'm going for a slight halo effect here, just a, the cute little halo eye. Next, I'm taking the color Solstice from Urban Decay. It's like a bluish brown, but on camera, it looks like a shimmery pink. Um, I'm not really sure how that ended up happening, but it's, it's kind of more of like a blue brown in person. Next, I'm taking this eyeliner from L'Oreal. This is one of their infallible liners. I really love L'Oreal liners. They're actually really good. And I'm just using that to create a little wing on the outer portion of my eye, and I'm also kind of using that on the bottom of my eye and smoking it out down there. I'm also going to be taking my Urban Decay White Eyeliner, and this is called Bump, I believe. And yeah, I'm using a lot of Urban Decay for this. I didn't even realize that. And I'm also using that on the inner portion of my eye. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I did this look maybe last year, and I just never got around to recording it. But I think it looks really good, and it worked for this tutorial, so I just kind of went with it. Next, I'm taking this Evil Twin Lipstick from Too Faced Cosmetics and using that on my lips because I just like this color a lot. And I was being a messy Bessie and um, I got it everywhere so I have to clean it up with a little concealer. Okay, so for this you're gonna need a hot glue gun, a measuring tape, different sized elastic, and o-rings so make sure you keep the measurements this is what we're going to use when we're using the elastic to make sure it's a nice fit on our body i'm using a strapless bra for this this is the only strapless bra i have i don't think it fits right but this is kind of what i had to work with and measuring around my waist first and then we're going to go on the side here and then um, right behind us over our backs where the straps are and then we're just going to use those measurements so I'm taking the elastic. The piece that I cut was a little too long, so I shortened it. That way there's a little bit of tension and it fits when I put it on. 
and I'm using hot glue so um, if you don't know how to sew you don't need to know how to sew to do this just use hot glue and it'll be fine I've used mine um, I have put it on a couple different times and it still stays put so you should be okay with just using the hot glue I kind of like to work it in there too just to make sure it stays put and then this is where I'm showing you how to put the straps on. So I'm pinning the straps on the sides here and they go up like that. Next I'm taking a smaller piece in the middle. I didn't measure this out, I just kind of trusted my gut here and um, pinned it in just to see what it would look like. For this part I like to use pins, that way I can adjust it if I need to. And then I'm using rings on the um, ends of the elastic. Unfortunately, I ran out of the size of elastic that I wanted to use for this project. So I used some thinner elastic that I just had laying around and I'm just showing you the motion in order to get the pentagram that I'm doing right here. So you're gonna start at the bottom, uh, work your way to the top and then go down to the bottom left and then you go to the bottom right and then you go back up to the top and then you go down to the bottom. And you're just kind of looping the elastic through all the rings that you've placed. And that's pretty much it, um, except I use a thicker elastic for the pentagram shape. That's the only difference that I did here. And yeah, that's basically how I made that part. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the wig on that I made with the hair from Chalk Hair. And here you see me struggle cutting my bangs. <laughs> Um, so here's a struggle cut. Um, I should have been paying a little bit more attention to how I was cutting my hair But luckily one side came out really nice, and that's all you need to see like <laughs> No one's gonna tell um, it's, so it's fine And then after I struggle cut my bangs, I went ahead and curled it with this flat iron um, I was just going for a little bump on the ends All right, and here is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate each and every one of you and um, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're gonna try out this body harness because literally 10 bucks to make a body harness. And they cost like $70 online. So I'm saving you guys a good chunk of change, okay? So do me a favor, share the video. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.